This is Suede. She's a year old Border Collie pup. She's a kind of a started pup at this point, but I'm just going to kind of show you um, positioning on where you need to be when you send a, a dog to kind of block and get a nice outrun. This is about a 100 by 100 pin, and I just have her on sheep. She's been on cattle and everything, but um, I just want to kind of show you where she's at now. When I down them, I'll down them outside the pin, like I said in the video that, with the young pup, and then I'll uh, I'll put a line on them actually and make them stay. I'll tie it to the fence and kind of trick them and bait them and go to the stock and they hit the end of that a few times and they'll stay pretty good for you. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna send her around these sheep. I'm about dead center in the middle, and um, sheep are are behind me. Um, anyhow, uh, this is about a hundred by hundred. I don't know if I already said that, but um, anyhow, I'm gonna send her on a go by. She's going to come in on those sheep, and she should kind of come in nice and bring them off the fence and kind of rate them. She's learned all this, but to teach them to rate, I'll say down, and I'll say walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, and I'll say steady, and I make that little noise to get them walk up, steady, down. Now if you, if they won't steady up, which they don't, you know, a lot of times dogs have a natural rate, but some of them, you know, you'll, and you know, pretty much all of them, you need to teach them to rate the stock and steady, but um, you'll say steady and then you'll kind of growl at them and then you'll say down if they don't steady up. Um, but rate is really important so you don't get run over by your stock. Keeping the dog on the other side of the stock, you know, at this point is really important. We will do some driving and stuff later and, you know, teach them to, to, uh, you know to to trail the this stock and when she's been on cattle and she's been on sheep she's got pretty big she's got a big wide outrun nice outrun out in a big field or in the you know she worked she's worked been worked quite a bit but she's a little behind for her age uh she's just a year old and um but anyhow she's she i just figured i'd kind of show you you know some stuff with her but so i'm gonna step over here I'm going to block the sheep are right behind me. I've got zoom on too much here. I've got horses all around too. When I work my dogs, there's, uh, I usually like to have horses all around the pen so the dogs don't learn to work horses. They just work the sheep or the cattle. Um, but here I'm going to send her, send her on a, a go by. Go by. <sighs> She's wanting to stop them because they want to get away. Hey, go by. Good girl. Right there. Right there. Now that means actually walk right walk up right there. Um, she kind of down, but she's really rusty. I have not worked her in a long time. I've been really bad. I've been working the male year old pups a lot and because I've been trialing them, they just turn they all just turned a year. They're all right about the same age. Two of them are litter mates and then another one's like four days apart. But um, she's real patient, you know, and she's she was real natural, like slick to start, really, really easy. Um, but, um, you know, she kind of, she's she's still going through that phase. Like she thinks she knows the right way to, to go when, the stock, when she's reading the stock. So I'm just going to make her listen to me and make her do what I want her to do. And I want them to work on their own. I mean, they, I definitely want them to think on their own. We do a lot of that. Um, and, and uh, you know, we really want them to be able to, when we're out in the brush and out in the, you know, where we can't see our dogs and we want that we want to know that the dogs are, you know, that they can work on their own, that they're going to bring the stock to us no matter what. Um, and uh, so anyhow, that's all really important, but also we got to be able to take a hold of them and tell them what we want them to do because, you know, that's not all, it's not all their idea. They can't just do what they want to do all the time. So there's a fine line, there's a balance between the two and both really, really important. But, um, but anyhow, I'm going to send her on and away. I'm going to step over here to the right a little bit. And I'm going to put my stick off to the, to the right. I'm going to say, away. <sighs> now I give her a correction because she wanted to go the other way because the sheep are wanting to drift this way. Hey, away, away. She dove in and bit something and she didn't really need to. That was being kind of, she's just being a turd. Now she got to where she thought she was at balance. 
stopping them. And I'm not going to let her do that. I'm going to make her come behind them. Steady. Hey. 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 You stop that. Down. 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 You listen to me. She's wanting to go to, to balance and down. And I'm talking and it's kind of getting her wanting to do her own thing anyhow. But um, but she is, you know, she is really far behind. I have not worked her and this is the first time I've worked her in probably three, two, three months. It's been a long time. So she's really rusty. So she's kind of a good, good one to show you on because I figured she's going to make some mistakes. Go by. Well, there she had a nice, pretty outrun. She's coming in nice on top. We don't want her diving in on them and trying to bust them up like she does. But, um, steady. Walk, walk. Steady. Now she's down. She's taking the steady as a down. Because I do a lot of downing when I'm steadying them. And pretty soon they'll start, they don't want to down all the time. Now I'm just walking and she's naturally just kind of coming in behind and right in the stock. And, uh, you know, if I stop, she should stop. Which she did, so that's good. I'm teaching her to work on her own. Now, I'm not going to give her a direction. I'm just going to let her get around them. And that was naughty. <laughs> um, hey, what are you doing? Suede. Come here. That'll do. Well, I'm not going to let her have them down. Way. She wanted to kind of cut in on them. She wants to stop them. She thinks, she thinks they're going to get away. They're only in a hundred by a hundred pin. But like I said, she's really green and really rusty. Um, I'm going to step to her here and square her off a little bit. That means make her roll over a hawk. And hey, quit that. You stop it. Down. Down. You better listen to me. Down. Now, if she doesn't down, I was begging on her, and that's like rule number one, do not beg on them. And I, I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm doing everything you're not supposed to do right now. I'm, I get kind of stage fright when I do stuff like this. I've never done videos before like this for, you know, to help people out. But, um, but always, you know, always m make them down. If you say down, man, you mean it right then and there. And um, pretty soon you'll have them sliding. And she did have a really nice down. She was sliding into the dirt when I'd say down, and she's a little sloppy, and so am I. Um, but anyhow, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna take the sheep away from where I'm blocking. Sheep are behind me here, and I'm gonna place her. I'm gonna take her off balance because she's really wanting to balance. So I'm gonna place her. I'm gonna say away, down. Now I didn't let her roll in on the stock there, and that's really important. And I've got a good distance. I mean, there's a nice big bubble there. Um, and we don't want her rolling in because if we're trying to get them in a trailer or get them through a gate or something, we want her to stay off and be able to feel the stock and actually, you know, uh, this is really important and being able to place the dog wherever we want, taking them off balance. Go by. Down. So now this time I'm going to let her have them. I'm going to send her the other direction. If I say it, she'll go. Um, and then I'm going to let her have them and I'm going to start walking and she should come on behind, go around nice and square, stay off pretty nice and come behind and raid her stock and um, so we'll see how she does. Now this is theor theoretically speaking, <laughs> never goes as I want, but away. Staying off really nice, she didn't dive in, she's coming in really easy on the fence. She didn't cover her stock real well, but that was kind of a square, kind of a, a different angle there on that fence. And uh, she's really feeling the stock, and you know they're wanting to drift on by me, and that you know she's not really ca ah, she's causing it there. So give her a little light growl, and she'll kick out. And uh, anyhow, um, down. So I'm gonna get myself positioned. I'm gonna take her. We're gonna do another little outrun here. Come here, come here, sweet. Good girl. Um, we're gonna do a little outrun. You know, you can't ever outdo the outrun. I mean, overdo the outruns. Come here. Lay down. Down. Now, the sheep are drifting. I'm going to put my zoom back out again. Um, they're wanting to drift that way, so I'm going to send her on and away. Way. 
She knows we're just kind of, hey, she's not really covering her stock. I don't like that. So I'm gonna push her <sighs> way there. Now when I say there, that's okay for her to walk in because that means walk in right there, down. But um, when I say she's not covering her stock, she's not coming past balance. She's going right to balance and then she's stopping. And this is a great example of, of you know, you always want them to cover their stock. So she's actually, she's helping us with some really important stuff here. Um, so, ah, way, way, ah. Now she wanted to dive in there. Not necessary, because I was sending her, and, it, and my voice is kind of excited when I send her to, so she's kind of taking it as I need to kill something, get in there and dive in there and cause something to happen. Because I was, I, hey, down, you listen, down. And actually, a lot of downing is not necessarily good. You can do a lot of standing. That's one thing Lauren's always been, stand there. Been really um, big on is just, you know, just stop the motion, keep them on their feet, especially, especially, uh, you know, dogs, it, it, the, on the stock, on the cattle, down. Now I'll put her down because I want her to stay there while I talk. And with, when you have a young dog or any dog on cattle, and uh, if the dog is downing a lot, they don't have the presence that they have when they're on their feet. So a lot of times just stand is really important. And um, and it's really important to to get a dog to walk in on the face of, of any, or walk in on stock and cause. They actually have to create movement. A lot of dogs will stay off, you know, way off out of the picture. And they can't, they can't move stock. They'll move it with their body. They'll move back and forth, but they can't actually come in and, and move it with their, you know, by actually um, making contact present, you know, with their presence up close. So right here, I'm going to walk her in. I'm, I'm up against the fence, so I'm going to walk her in on the stock because I want to know that she's, she's not just going to stay, walk up, stay out there. I'm going to walk her in, probably going to get run over here. Walk up, walk up. Walk, 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 walk. Good girl. Now she's, none of them are challenging her right now. They're all kind of moving off of her. So she really, I mean, she really doesn't need to walk in here on their face. They're not going to really allow it. Um, but, you know, she she's actually, she's actually, I'm not going to really, I, maybe I'll go in the corner here and make her walk in on them. But uh, she, we actually don't want them to, if it's not necessary, you know, they, we don't want them in there causing a big wreck. Um, the horse is here. <laughs> um, but anyhow, I'm going to kind of probably get myself run over here. Ah, okay. Now she's going to hold them here. They're going to they're gonna want to get out of this corner. But she's just going to do her natural thing to, to keep them. And I'm going to walk her in and then they're going to try to squirt out here. Walk up. Walk up. Good girl. Walk up. She's being cautious because she knows they're going to blow out of here. Walk up. Now she caused that. Hey. She's healing them and heading them and being a stinker. But I'm excited. I'm trying to get her excited, you know, walking her in here. And, and the sheep are, they're not really, you know, they're not really wanting to leave. But, um, but if one of them squirted out, you know, she'd be able to catch it and and put it back. Watch her. And then uh, sometimes I'll take uh, just one lamb away from the others and I'll make them play defense. And I think it's defense or I don't know, offense, defense. I think it's defense. But um, anyhow, that's probably enough for now. But